Why are Charles and Camilla rehearsing in a special replica of the Abbey, and why has the coronation ceremony been shortened by two-thirds? Let's figure it out together. Welcome! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before watching the video, so you don't miss any of our latest content. Thank you for your support. New alarming details are reaching the public through the palace walls. The preparation for the coronation, codenamed Golden Sphere, is going quite chaotically. And it's all due to endless last-minute changes that have caused confusion in the structure of the event on May 6th, with just over three weeks left until the ceremony. The Mirror reports that the organizers are currently in a race against time as serious problems arise, throwing the event into disarray. So, after the only rehearsal of the procession, it became clear that some major changes were needed. For example, the historic coronation ceremony has been shortened from a more than three-hour event to a ceremony that will last significantly less than 90 minutes. The event has become considerably prolonged, raising concerns that viewers will start to tune out of the television broadcast. But here's the question, how to fit everything planned into such a short time frame? An insider told the publication, honestly, it's all starting to feel chaotic. There is a well-thought-out plan, but something happens every day that gives the organizers a headache. Another source is less pessimistic. It's important that everything is under control. The king and queen consort would like everything to be perfect, and they are doing everything they can to make it so. There is great confidence that the ceremony will go according to plan. The Mirror also reports that the king and queen consort are rehearsing their roles in a replica of the abbey that has been constructed inside Buckingham Palace specifically for this occasion. With the replica abbey at their disposal, one can imagine that Charles and his wife are tirelessly practicing on long misty evenings. However, the timing of the grand ceremony is not the only issue troubling the anxious organizers. The seating plans are still not finalized due to Harry and Meghan, who have yet to confirm their attendance. The RSVP deadline was April 3rd, but the King's son and daughter-in-law have not provided any official indication of whether they will be present or not. A royal insider revealed there have been lengthy discussions between the Sussexes and the palace, and there is still time. It's such a historic event, and we hope Harry and Meghan will be there. However, the final decision ultimately rests with Harry. The source emphasized, all families have their challenges, but this is certainly not a normal family. Harry has a lot of questions about how the event will unfold. There is another reason for concern for Charles III, the heavy ceremonial attire. There are fears that the king may stumble in his regalia, and considering that an estimated 100 million viewers will be watching the broadcast, it could be a cause for embarrassment. The mirror claims that during one of the fittings, Charles remarked on the weight of the meticulously crafted garments, causing genuine fear among the aides. Staff were worried that the not-so-young monarch may struggle to ascend the throne, which he and Camilla would need to reach after the coronation. As a result, a solution was found. Experts were brought in to construct a ramp leading to the chairs at the center of Westminster Abbey. Presumably, the ramp will somehow ease the monarch's ascent. However, Queen Elizabeth II herself was not thrilled about her coronation day. Her crown weighed about 1.3 kilograms, and Elizabeth was afraid to tilt her head in it to avoid breaking her neck. Her pearl and jewel-encrusted gown only hindered her as she walked on the carpet, as the high pile of the carpet would catch on the hem of her dress. Her ride in the incredibly ornate but equally uncomfortable golden carriage was also cumbersome. The queen recalled being jolted on the leather seats with the slightest bump, and she referred to her coronation day as a kind of knighthood. And yet, Charles is much older now than Elizabeth was back then. How will he endure this knighthood? Nevertheless, let's not dwell on the somber thoughts. One more issue to consider is whether to allow the disgraced Prince Andrew to wear his velvet mantle and insignia that belong to him as a knight of the Order of the Garter. Charles has not yet made a decision, which reportedly infuriated Andrew. However, it is likely that Charles will permit Andrew to attend the coronation itself, albeit without playing a central role, but he may be instructed to wear ordinary civilian attire. It is unclear whether the royal ladies will be wearing tiaras. 
an insider told People, senior representatives of the royal family were only informed of the dress code this week, prompting them to hastily finalize their preparations for fitting. While discussions about Kate Middleton's decision not to wear a tiara continue, the Princess of Wales may choose to forego headgear, wishing to modernize the historic event and create a more subdued atmosphere. British parliamentarians have also been asked to dress less formally for this purpose. Another change concerns the procession route. The mirror claims that the king was very keen to follow in his mother's footsteps and parade through the streets of central London, but senior aides convinced him otherwise. They fear that preparing such security measures would appear too complicated against the backdrop of the rapidly escalating cost of living crisis, everything must be planned to the minute, and such a time-consuming diversion would be a disaster. In the end, the king and queen consort will choose a shorter route from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey, covering approximately one-third of the 7.2-kilometer procession of Queen Elizabeth II on the day of her coronation. The event plan is still being refined. A source said, the schedule of the ceremony, the carriage procession, the appearance on the balcony, and the Royal Air Force show are all planned to the minute, so it's a very tight schedule. If the ceremony is too long or too complicated, the TV audience will tune out, and that could have devastating consequences. Therefore, on the day of the long-awaited coronation, Charles will have to balance between a leisurely and majestic ascent to the throne and maintaining viewers' interest. The key is not to get tangled up in heavy garments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video.